week six of the fantasy basketball season is here and he has a few forwards that can help you this week and weeks to come the first guy's Jeff Green of the Brooklyn Nets and Jeff Green he's been pr playing pretty well and he has a bigger role than I expected for this net team now but Green with the James Harden trade more playing time is opened up for him with Torian Prince and Jared Allen getting traded this season and Green he's been playing well of late in the last week, Green 13.5 points, 5 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 3 threes a game, 61% from the field. So on the season, he's ranked 110, and in the last week, he's ranked number 42, so he's really playing well. He's playing anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes a game is Green. So Green, he's been starting. This net team, they don't have a lot of depth now after the James Harden deal. And Jeff Green, he's going to put up solid numbers. I think anywhere from 12 to 15 points per game, 6 or 7 rebounds I think he could average, and possibly 2 or 3 assists, and he'll hit a few threes here and there. And his percentages won't be that bad, which they haven't been this season. So if he's out there in your league, which he probably is, he's available in 74% of fantasy leagues. Jeff Green's definitely an ad this week at the forward position. The next guy is Delino Gallinari. The Atlanta Hawks, Gallinari, he just came back from the ankle injury a few days ago. And Gallinari, he's probably not available in most leagues. But if he is, I put him on the list just in case. He's still available in 33% of fantasy leagues. And now when he's two games back, his minutes have been restricted. He played 15 minutes on January 22nd. 10 points, 4 boards, and a 3. And he shot 37% from the field. And then last night, 19 minutes. In a bad loss to Milwaukee, 4 for 8 from the field, 3 threes, 17 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. A Gallinari, he's obviously a great 3-point shooter. This is what's kept him in the league for most of his career. He can get a decent amount of rebounds. And his field goal is usually better than what it's been this season. So Gallinari, if he's out there, he's definitely worth an ad. He's going to play major minutes with this Hawk team. They gave him the huge $60 million contract in the offseason. And he's not going to ride the pine. And as the games go on, his minutes are going to go up. So I think he's worth the pickup if he's out there. The next play they try to get on waves this week's Torrey and Prince of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Prince, he was doing decent with the Nets. And obviously he was in the four-team trade. And he landed with Cleveland in the James Harden deal. And so far, in his first few games as a Cav versus former team, the first game on January 20th, 17 points. Three threes made, seven rebounds, four assists, a steal, and a block, 55% from the field. Then the 22nd versus former team again, the Nets, 14 points, three rebounds, an assist, a steal, two threes, three for five from the field. And then last night versus Boston, 21 minutes of play, they got smoked by 38 points, nine points, five assists, three steals, a block, two threes, 33% from the field. Satorian Prince, he's going to have a good role with this Cleveland team. He's a defensive specialist, and he can shoot the ball pretty decently, and he's playing anywhere right now from 20 to 25 minutes, and that's a decent role for him. Cleveland, I know they're banged up with a few injuries, but Garland and Sexton have returned now for this team, but Torian Prince, he's got a decent role, and he's definitely worth a pickup, and he's available in 80% of fantasy leagues. The next forward to on wave is this week's Justin Holiday. Of the Indiana Pacers, Holiday, he's been pretty decent this season, but he's been up and down as well for fantasy owners and the Pacers. On the year, he's ranked number 66, and his stats on the season, 11 points a game, 4 rebounds, 1.2 assists, 1.2 steals, 2 threes a game, 75% from the foul line, and 50% from the field, so his numbers are pretty solid. His ranking is pretty good, and I think he'll be decent the rest of the way is Holiday. Right now, he's playing... About 25 to 35 minutes a game. Even though last night he played 40 minutes versus Toronto. 16 points, 10 boards, 2 assists, and a steal with 4 threes. So Holiday, he's got a good role. They re-signed him to a decent contract for a reason, Holiday. And he's going to play well for this team. And he's going to get opportunities. I know Jeremy Lamb came back, but he's not going to get major minutes right away. After recovering from the ACL injury. And we know TJ Warren. He's possibly out for the season. So Holiday. He's going to have a role. He's going to play a lot. And he's available in 66% of fantasy leagues. So he's worth an ad. The next forward I would add is Jared Vanderbilt. 
of the Minnesota Timberwolves. We've seen flashes this season from him. But Vanderbilt now in his last ball game with a big one for this Wolf team. And he plays tonight versus Golden State. So Vanderbilt two nights ago, 16 points, 11 rebounds, 2 steals a block in 21 minutes of play. And he was 8 at 13 from the line on the season. Vanderbilt, he's ranked 166. And last week he was ranked 120th. And his playing time starting to go up now. 20 to 25 minutes a game he's playing. They had a couple games where they were postponed. But now it looks like they should be in the clear as Minnesota. And Vanderbilt, he should get the opportunity to play. He's going to help in scoring. He's going to get some rebounds. And he could steal the basketball with a decent rate on the season. He's averaging one and a half on the year, which is pretty good. And a block a game as well. So, Jared Vanderbilt, he's definitely worth the pickup. Just, he's going to hurt you in free throw percentage. And he's not going to score the basketball from three at all, really. And the final forward I would add on the wire this week's Isaiah Roby of the OKC Thunder. Roby, he's been playing well now the last couple games here. And he came off a career-high double-double in last night's game versus the Los Angeles Clippers. 10 points, 10 boards, 3 assists. A steal 50% from the field and on the season he's ranked 203. But last week he came in ranking number 74, 9.3 points a game, 7.7 .7 rebounds last week, 2.5 assists, 2 steals, 100% from the foul line and 48% from the field. And right now his minutes have been going up the last few games here for him, anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes a game. He's on the Thunder. They're a rebuilding team, obviously, with a lot of youngsters on the roster. So, Roby, he's going to have every opportunity to play. And right now, he's carving out a decent role for the Thunder. And he should be owned in more deeper leagues. He's available in 89% of fantasy leagues. So, if you need some forward help, Roby's worth the pickup. And that's a few forwards I would add here heading into week six of the fantasy basketball season.